Shout out to naked juice. Holy crap. Ingredients apple juice, mango puree, pineapple juice, banana puree, kiwi puree, spirulina, natural flavors, alfalfa, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, white wheatgrass, ginger root, oh my gosh, parsley, kale, odorless garlic. Wow, naked juice tastes freaking incredible. Not gonna lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you, youtube.com. Leave a comment down below if you ever have naked juice and be sure to click that like button for being naked. <laughs>What's up, everybody? Welcome back to youtube.com slash kazrisk here on youtube.com slash kazrisk. I'm the kazrisk, you're the youtube.com, and today we're going to be continuing our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play series. Now, a little bit of a behind-the-scenes tidbit for you. Literally, the last time I recorded was back when episode one went live for all of you guys. I did 12 episodes all in one like day or weekend, and now I'm back at it like a few weeks later, so we got to kind of get back into the flow a little bit. Um, just because these games, you come back into them and you're like, what in the world is going on? You leave a comment down below. Do you ever step away from a game and you come back to the game and you're like, what is it, Gandalf? I have no memory of this place. Like, you have no idea what's going on. So I think Raphael over here is going to have a little bit of a recap for us. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. The is using um, this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. There we go. We're, we'll go ahead and set myself right about here. Perfect. Above all of their crap. Awesome, great. Another little behind the scenes thing. New overlay, how do you like it? Leave another comment down below. Two comments, respond to your original comment. What do you think of the new little webcam frame system, things like that? The fact that I'm poking my little head out here. I think it's pretty cool, but then I go like, yeah! And my arm gets cut off there by the border of the, the webcam frame. The red, the on brandness, I think it's really cool. Leave a like down below if you like the overlay and all of that. Uh, okay, so now I remember, there was an assassination attempt being planned uh, but everyone thinks it's just because people want um, to to eat our food. Now let's go. It uh, looks like we can go enter this fighting tournament over here. For this little uh, this little beginning portion, I'm just gonna have to go ahead. Now let's actually real quick. Let let's check um, the map here. Did we already talk to everyone? I think that's how we ended up the last episode. Was we were going around talking to everyone. Now hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Who's who's in the cathedral over here that we need to go talk to? Is there someone that we need to go talk to there? How come it won't let me select it? How come it won't let me, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know, I'll just go to the training grounds. We'll fast travel there. Yeah, I, I meant yes. Okay, cool, great, great, fantastic. And then what's this little, okay, wait, You're you. Skilled. Why won't you battle me? I'm down. Hmm. I'm down to battle you. Do I have to do that here? Beginner sword tournament, um, select someone to participate. Well, crap, who do I want to participate? I would think I'd want someone skilled with the sword. Would, would, I, would I not? So, recommended level six or higher. Well, all these people are level, yeah, they're all level six or higher. Weapon use is the training sword. And it, is it trying to tell, oh wait, no, Petra, my love. Let's get Petra up in here. Perfect, we'll do that, fantastic. I wanna participate with Petra for my activity for the day. Oh wait, so Petra's the only one participating? Do I not participate? I wanna get in on this. I wanna fight with my love, Petra. No, but Petra's got it covered, look at her go. I forgot how much I swooned over Petra. Petra's just my, is my love. Yeah, I got the sweet victory. And it's sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah, nice. She's got the win. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, let's uh, let's just keep on going with the tournament here. Let's just keep on rocking and rolling. You know, like why stop? Who's stopping us? My heart is full of victory. Yeah, she's full of victory. Nothing stopping Petra. Yeah, she she just keeps on getting the wins. We move on to the next one here. Just, I think she can probably take out the whole thing. How many people does she have to kill? Does she have to kill like 20 of them? Because she's starting to get a little beat up, but I think she's she's rocking. I like the whole little one legging thing going on. Like, I don't even know what's going on there. Um, does it, is there any, did you guys see anywhere on the screen anything that tells me how many people, how many mercenaries she has to knock out? I think she just keeps on going, and it looks like I can heal her a couple times if she does start getting a little beat up. I don't even know if I should start, be, should start doing that or something. Let's go ahead and see. She's uh, she's at nine health, so if I hit the X button here, I can restore her twice. Uh, this guy's gonna do 11 damage to her, so that's gonna really hurt. So let's go ahead and get her healed up. Now her health is 28, go ahead and yeet her in there. She's gonna go ahead and kill this guy. She's gonna do 10 damage to him twice. Oh, three times, I guess. All right, perfect, fantastic. Yep, great, good. Petra's just winning, winning, winning. 
you, you guys just you just eating popcorn in the comment section, just just watching her murder people. Are these people actually dying? Like, I know they have training swords, but I'm pretty sure she's murdering these people. Like, they just never get to see the light of day I'm again. Glad I asked you. Oh, Casper was the one that asked me to do that. He says, you know how fighting tournaments work, right? One-on-one -on -one fights, one after another. Each month, there are different tournaments. I can't wait. Fighting tournaments are held in the monastery to test what students learn in their daily training, speak to the tournament organizer, and we got ourselves some cool prizes there, including chicken and an axe, which is always a good thing to get in a, in a, in a hard day's work. I think, it's a, I think it's a pretty good deal. And that was one of our activity points. Now, checking our map, I don't know... Uh, what other activity we should do? I think, um, gosh, you know, there's a, it's a little bit of decision paralysis where you have too many activities all in one day. Let's go to the cathedral. I forgot what these little dot 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 options are, and I'm curious what they are. I'd, I'd like to go investigate if it's if it's possible. See what they are in my mini map. Otherwise, I want to maybe use one of my activity points to take Petra on a hot mind. date. Thoughts? Thoughts? Or is this a support conversation? Is that what it is? Professor. Hubert, yeah, it's the, it's the support conversation. So, okay, we're getting back into the game. We're getting back into it. Professor, or Hubert says, Professor, Hubert would like to speak to you. Is now a good time? I love these support conversations. Let's go ahead and dive on into it. Hubert is someone that I've Hello, actually really Professor. wanted to get to know more. You seem to be in good health. Hubert, one thing we need to work on is you always sound like a, like a little bit of a villain. Like, you always sound like you're about up to no good. Um, and the music. Kind of creepy. You know, would you agree? Now, I'm blocking my face here. Is this always going to be a situation? Like, where, where should I go here? You know what I'm saying? Like, wh where's a good spot for me? This game, there's so much going on. Like, would would honestly being up here, like, or being over here, like, would that be a good spot? Or am I fine where I was at before? I don't even know, man. Leave a comment down below. Where would you like to drop me? I don't even know where to go. Um, I seem to be in good health. Uh, I am. How are you doing, Hubert? How about of yourself? Course. Oh, Hubert's like, of course, I'm also in good health. Hmm. Doesn't seem intimidated. Are you trying to intimidate me, Hubert, by asking how I'm doing? Hubert, is something wrong? No, not at all. It's just that I find myself a little concerned for your well-being. Are you trying to poison you me? You see, Lady Edelgard has taken something of an interest in you. I'm not gonna lie, Hubert. All the ladies have started to take an interest in me. It seems so. I would agree, Hubert. Don't be flippant. Oh, well, I'm not flipping anyone. There is something you need to understand about the role I play here. You want to bang Edelgard, don't One you? One of my many duties is to determine potential advantages and potential threats to her highness. I bet you would consider yourself an advantage. <laughs> if you prove yourself useful to Lady Edelgard, then all will be well. You think I'm going to hurt her? If you pose a threat. I shall have to dispose of you. Well, hot freaking day, Hubert. I'm gonna pair you guys up. I now understand your passion for her. And I was kind of curious, you know, I was I was potentially eyeing Edelgard as a potential a potential lady for myself. You know, you kind of pair up, you get your support classes, all of that. But then Petra kind of wowed me. Like, and Petra is just, I think, I think Petra and I are on the path of love now. But then you can pair up the other people and kind of build up their support. And I'm like, who do I pair with Edelgard then? And I think Hubert would be the one to love her. What do you mean dispose of me, Hubert? Yes. This is no joke. Hubert, I could kill you. While I may be a student here, I am her servant first and foremost. I don't think you understand how 100% quickly I can kill you. Therefore, if an untimely demise is not to your liking, you would do well to demonstrate your utility with you all know haste. You don't scare me at all, man. You can't even see out your other eyeball. I should warn you that I am far less compromising than Lady Edelgard. Whatever, man. Do not man. be at ease merely because you stand in her good graces for the time being. Dude, you know, I, I changed my mind. Part of me wants to now woo Edelgard just to, just, just to get in her romancing graces just so you can't have her. Don't be, un don't be at ease merely because you stand in her good graces for the time being. Yo, man, I'm not worried at all. I ain't got no worries. No worries, no hurries. Such confidence. Oh, I'm please. I'm to see why you caught her eye. Did you see me and Petra just murder, like, five people in a tournament? My family, House Vestra, has been sworn to House Resvelg for generations. Okay, Since man. Since the dawn of the Empire, we have worked to protect the Emperor by any means necessary. Both in the open and in the shadows. He talks too slow. Hubert, you need to lighten up, man. We need to get, we need to get this guy out and about. We need to... We need to get this guy out on a couple dates, put a couple uh, drinks in him, if you all that. If our wrath, 
you will see just what I mean. Man, I, I thought these support conversations were supposed to leave you... Yeah, Kazdan and Hubert are now support level C. Their motivation has increased. Um, my motivation's increased. Hubert just came in and threatened to murder me if I got in the way of him and Edelgard, or you know, not even in the way of him and Edelgard, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm all choked up over here because I just got basically a death threat from one of my students. Imagine if one of your students comes up to you and says, Okay, Mr. Risk, uh, I notice that... You know, you you're becoming close with Sally over in the back seat over there. If you even if you freaking hurt her, man, I'm gonna murder you. Like, it, just I'll dispose of you was his term. Like that's so that's such a freaking brutal way to approach a professor. I'm gonna start failing him. Can I do that? I'm just gonna. I, I wish you could give grades. How cool would that be? All right, now I want to. Have we had dinner today? I don't know if we ever had a meal. I'm gonna go to the dining hall and see if I can eat with Petra. Cause I just wanna, I wanna fast track that support and that'd be a good way to end out the day. Don't you think? Oh, hi Petra, speaking to Petra. How you doing? Very nice. All right, I've, yeah, I've talked to everyone. That's how we ended out the last episode. Okay, we're getting into the flow. We're getting into the hibbity jibbity here. Now, I probably could have fast traveled. Maybe I should, I still should. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Where's the dining hall? Okay, it's right here. Yeah, just take me there. I shouldn't have even tried to run. I should have just known this was the route to go. All right, um, I'm gonna do the, the meal. Now, what one does Petra love? Is there one that Petra is particularly fond of? Petra, where are you at? Where are you at, Petra? What's your favorite food, huh? Petra, I'm not seeing you anywhere here. Petra, I'm starting to think you actually don't like eating. Guys, did you see Petra there at all? I didn't see Petra as an option once. I don't. I don't think they like eating. Am I just? I, I, I'm. I feel like I'm just blind. But I think I, I could. I recognize that I mark anywhere. I don't think Petra likes to eat food. Well, oh freaking crap! How am I supposed to bond with them if they don't like eating? Now wait. Do you have any food? Oh wait. Dang. Okay. Wait. I want to eat with Petra. Where? Where are they at? Wait, I, I feel like I'm, there they are, sheesh. All right, let's go ahead and give her some, let's give her some steak. I'd like to cook up some King of Beast steak, please. It is necessary to be having fresh ingredients for cooking. Oh, look at this. Petra and I having a little cooking date. I love it. It's, and look at me, like, I gotta freaking impress this lady. She's got this eye mark thing and her hair's purple and, uh, I guess she's looking for fresh ingredients. All of these are five days old. Oh crap! Oh, we're burning crap. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh, uh, yeah, I love hearing about your homeland, Petra. Seems so cool. Yeah, that. I don't. Were we supposed to burn that? Hey, we all got some bonus health too. And me and Petra just leveled up. Yeah! Woohoo! That's awesome. Look at me smile. You now have more activity points for exploration. You will now receive monthly funds for activities. Oh my gosh, we just boosted the whole thing. Oh, fire emblem. All right, now, how do I end out the day? How do I How do I say I'm good? Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, it finished exploring. Uh, now, in today's activities, perfect. We already talked to everyone. I'm ready to go on to the next day. I'm getting back in the fire emblem flow. Someone wants to kill the high priestess lady. Let's go ahead and get some instructions up in here. Um, what do we gotta do? Who do we want to instruct? Okay, so Hubert's got some high motivation. I'm gonna deal with you in a second. Petra, I wanna just continue to pour into you. Um, so let's go ahead. You wanna be a flyer, that's right. We were trying to teach you how to fly so you could fly me around in your little Pegasus. So let's go ahead and teach you some sword skills. You have my thanks for your support. Yeah, yeah, shut your dang mouth. All right, and get that up to level C. I have understanding. Yeah, you don't know how to speak English. I forgot about that. All right, and you learned the Bane of Monsters combat skill. Super cool. Yep, you're doing great. I'll give you some praise. Nice. Oh, and Daishi in the comment section was saying that some people like praise, some people like um, criticism, things like that. Uh, it's kind of a balance depending on the personalities and things like that. I think um, I'm, I'm gonna opt for praise most of the time, especially with Petra. But Daishi actually was the MVP in all of the comment sections on the YouTube. Shout out to them. Um, they were kind of continuously giving feedback um, 
and seeing what they were like about the series. Guy talked to him a little bit over on Twitch too about how the Let's Play series is going. Seems like you guys are really enjoying it. A couple people said it was too long form, but we're gonna kind of stick with it because I think you guys would rather see the support conversations. At least that's the kind of audience I'm skewing towards. If you want tight, consistent, or not consistent, but concise, tight content, I'm sure there's other channels out there that can have that. We're going for a little bit more of that long form thing. So let's go ahead and get the, the flying up as well. And I think we can actually get that leveled up if we uh, play our cards right and get her fully leveled up with her skill for flying and sword work. And she actually has a little bit of motivation left. Let's go ahead um, and get that authority up too so she can kind of lead the battalions there. Your guidance was greatly useful. Nice, awesome, perfect, great. Um, sorry to cut you off so much, Petra, but honestly, like, come on. You gotta chill with that. Now, hmm, I think, so I can do this, I can I can teach three more people. I think we'll do Hubert, Casper, and Dor um, Dorothea here, which I saw someone, I think it was Pixel Chew in the comments, because I was calling her Dorothy, and it's like, guys, it's just an easier name to say than Dorothea. I actually don't know if it's that much easier, but I just prefer Dorothy, so. All right, Hubert, even though you did some death threats against me, let's go ahead and get you trained up here. Um, you want the reason and authority, eh? Now I'm curious if it would be better to go ahead and auto instruct because I'm kind of doing what they just recommend, you know, like I'm not I'm not going too far beyond so maybe leave a comment down below. Should I be doing the auto instruction? Did you opt for auto instruction? I'm not too sure uh, how I feel about it one way or the other but Wait, where's his authority at? Okay but I feel like what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth <laughs> between the two things they recommend. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say, hey, we want you to increase these two things. I go back and forth. Yada, 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 yada. And I do it to the people that have the highest motivation. Like, like Casper definitely needs it because he's only level seven. Bernadette could probably use some training too, but let's get Caspar over here. I actually don't think I have many people trained up in the ways of the ax. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just invest all of my time into getting him ax trained and we'll see if he can be someone that could use that. Um, he wants to be a brawler, I guess, like a brawler and an ax user. That so we'll go ahead. Way better than expected. And I think it'd be kind of cute for this little tiny pipsqueak here, this little ninja wannabe to be the one that's out there using the ax, you know? Like imagine him out on the battlefield swinging this thing around. All the rest of us are way bigger than him and we're using these big old, big old weapons. I couldn't think of another adjective there other than just big. Um, so, uh, so yeah, there we go. Everything it, went pretty well today. Yeah, nice. And we'll get um, their skill up with the magic oh. <laughs> or the reason. I think Daishu is also saying that uh, reason and faith are pretty much the two things you want to lock into if you have a mage sort of character. Yeah. And um, so I'm just going to pour into that. Maybe I'll do auto instruct next time and just kind of see how it goes. Seems like a little bit of a waste of time to keep, you know, going with that. So now goals. Okay, we still have Edelgard and... Uh, May I ask? Petra over there. Wait, Ferdinand has a question. I'm an avid arms collector, and since coming to live here, however, I have been I have had much more trouble finding new items for my collection. Any ideas as to where I might find uncommon weapons? Um, talk to a merchant, ask a blacksmith to teach you how to craft your own, ask the knights to show you some weapons. Answer is easy peasy here. Class, lecture hall. You want to ask a blacksmith how to teach you or to teach you how to craft your own. In the wise words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Give a man a blacksmith and teach him how to craft a fishing pole, you will feed him in a galaxy far, far away. And it rhymes too. That is a good option. Yep, 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 yep. I'm, I'm a teacher, I'm a professor, and we got our professor level up. I know how to teach you, I know how to do things, don't doubt my ability, and please don't send any more death threats my way because I'm getting really nervous that my students all wanna kill me. Oh, Bernadetta, who Daishi says is the best girl, but she never leaves her room. I actually think she's the absolute worst human being in the world. Um, Bernadetta says, if I have to hit someone, I wanna do it some, so far away, there's no way I could ever get hit back. G good call. She's someone that likes the back lines, or, you know, being as far back as possible. And uh, she's shy, doesn't like the confrontation. So she says, I think I want to master the bow. And then people everywhere will know me as Bernie the Sniper. Wow. So she's currently focusing on Lance and bow, but she just wants to focus on the bow skill specifically to excel as a sniper. You got it, Bernie. There you go. I'm going to call you Bernie for now on. That's awesome. 
We got some good conversation, some good dialogue. Did you see Petra there just like staring at me? Just like completely in love with me? Um, and it's St. Cathleen Day is today. There'll be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Um, oh, fire emblem, let's go. Oh, fire emblem. Professor, let me sing for you. Oh, Fernando. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Fernando, I believe you. Come on, sing Learning for me. These things gives me great difficult, uh, difficulty. Okay, aren't we like three months into the game? Like in this calendar in game time? How does she not know how to speak yet? We've been hanging out like daily. Like how long does it take for you to learn a foreign language? Like when you're living there natively and you already kind of know the language? Like how, how long does it take for you to pick up the mannerisms of the language? Because I feel like she should know that it's, this 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 is troubling me. This is giving me dif like giving me difficulty. I don't even. I, I'm I'm so confused of how to even correct her. Um, it's someone's birthday. Let's get that tea party going. You know what I'm saying? Tea parties. Host tea parties to bond with your allies. The charm. Cha cha cha. Stats of Kazdin and guests will also increase if you are a good host. If you're not a good host, well, have fun being disposed of by Hubert. Try to pick conversation topics that you think your guests will like. If they're having fun, they might choose topics on their own. Keep your guests happy. And they will stay as long as you like. Awesome, perfect. And so, uh, so it's Flane's birthday party here. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I believe they're like the younger sister of the main green-haired lady, and the main green-haired lady happens to like run the whole church, and they're planning to assassinate her. I think I'm putting all the pieces together. Now, Flane here wants some tea, so we're gonna make a sweet apple blend, because honestly, that sounds pretty I'm good to me. Actually, this me. is a good reminder right here to go ahead and say that this uh, Let's Play is brought to you by um, Naked Juice, and when I mean brought to you by, I mean they are not an official sponsor. There's This channel is in no way affiliated with Naked Juice or Green Machine, which is actually green screened out of there. Um, it, it's just a drink I happen to be drinking here on sh uh, on the stream, on, on the chat, on the, what are we talking about? On YouTube here. Um, but their green hair and their overall green eyeballs and the scenery reminded me that I had this drink on my desk and I hadn't even had a drink of it. I think it's really fascinating that it is green screened out because it looks like I'm just drinking absolutely nothing. It's like this, if I hold it just right, it's this invisible drink. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of it here to kind of keep myself refreshed. And because they're drinking, I might as well drink too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's actually really good. Packed with vitamins. What is what is in this? Shout out to Naked Juice, holy crap. Ingredients, apple juice, mango puree, pineapple juice, banana puree, kiwi puree, spirulina, natural flavors, alfalfa, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, white wheatgrass, ginger root, oh my gosh, parsley, kale, odorless garlic. It contains wheat from wheatgrass. Wow, Naked Juice tastes freaking incredible. Not gonna lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you, YouTube.com. Leave a comment down below if you ever have Naked Juice and be sure to click that like button for being naked. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That's actually, that's actually, I'm someone that used to like drink lots of pop. I haven't had a pop since I did uh, the Whole30 diet. When was that? Back in like, uh, maybe April or May of this year. So, and it's October now, so it's been a few months. But I haven't had pop, and I used to love like Dr. Pepper, and it's been really hard to find a drink that kind of gives me some of that sweet craving without necessarily, you know, being super unhealthy. And this Naked Juice is just crushing it. I actually really like that. I'm gonna have another drink after this Let's Play's over. Um, let's get back to the game though, shall we? Hey, <laughs> like just hanging out though and talking to you guys every once in a while. And I think that's what these tea parties are all about. Flaying anyway, they say I'm honored that you invited me. Oh, for sure. Happy birthday. You know about my favorite tea. I am moved. Honestly, it was just the it was just the tea I wanted. Um, yeah, go ahead and have some. So grateful. Yeah, drink up. <laughs> I poisoned it. I'm just kidding. Flame, I'm kidding. All right, so we got some options here. Talk. Um. Oh gosh, aren't those nights freaking hot? Yes. Oh my gosh, I see them sweating in the daylight, and it's just. Yeah, the glistening. I, maybe I shouldn't be talking about this with one of my students or all of that, but yeah, they were just really hot nights out there. Um, let's go ahead and keep talking. Um, the, the the assassination attempt going on right now, super bizarre, wouldn't you say? Oh, you don't really seem really, oh, you probably don't want to talk about um, the fact that your sister's about to be assassinated, huh? I thought it was just, I thought it was a good conversation, but now I realize that that may have been kind of uncalled for. So, okay, I get it, I get it, I got it, I'm sorry. Um. 
let me go ahead and maybe talk about something else. Uh, oh gosh. Favorite suites, uh, what place you'd like to visit? Yeah, let's talk about getting out of here. Where would you like to go? Oh, you don't, you don't even want to talk about vacations. You don't want to talk about your sister dying. You don't want to talk about going to Hawaii. What do you like talking about? Dreamy nights, sweaty bodies, you know what, Flane? I did poison your tea. You are gonna die. I can't wait for you to get out of my life, you sick son of a gun! That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. Yeah, uh, I got a little carried away there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Flane, I'm happy birthday. <sighs> I got a little carried away there. I got a little upset. And truth be told, I. I will I, not be a burden. I will be doing my I, best for Lady Edelgard. I, I kind of regret my actions. I probably should have focused on them more. I was hoping they were kind of gonna bond with me when they were talking about their favorite vacation spot. I realized that maybe I should have been talking about their favorite suites and just kind of keeping things on a very ground level. They didn't really seem to have much to say. They're kind of shallow. Um, truth be told though, I, 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 I let that whole tea party get away from me. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not too proud. Don't worry, Petra. There is no use in fearing failure. Well, when you're learning how to fly Pegasi, you could fall and die. It is my duty to help All others right. when necessary. Yep. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, see, if you, if you fail here. Worry not. It's all good, guys. Don't worry about it. Just shut up. Just shut your dang freaking mouth. Alright, and everyone's doing good here. Yep, 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 yep. I want to get some action, you know? You guys ever just crave some hardcore action? For Like, see right now. Nando Pando wants to speak to me. This is a good time. Let's get, let's get to some dialogue. Let's get to Hello, some Professor. killing. May Nando sa says, uh, may I speak you with you for sure? Hold Edelgard in high esteem. Oh that my, is my freaking. Impression, at least. If one more person comes up to me and wants to talk about Edelgard, like, when are we going to talk about Kaz? She's a good, you seem to hold her in high esteem. That's my impression. She's good. Yeah, she's good. Hmm. Good student. She is certainly talented. No doubt about that. Nando, do you also have the hots for Edelgard? Because if I have Hubert threatening to kill me and you with your miracle voice coming in to sing for her, oh my gosh, it's going to be a whole thing. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? I am quite talented too, am I not? Nando. Fernando, are you trying right now to flirt with me? Be honest. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person. You are a regular not person. Not the scion of a noble house. I don't even consider you noble. Um, I think you two are very evenly matched. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I no, yeah, you guys, I love all of my students equally, except I love Petra a little bit more. Evenly so. matched? Me? With her? Nando, there wasn't an option for anything higher than evenly matched, and I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I only had two dialogue options. I don't think you understand how my brain works. <sighs> I was just being modest before. Oh, wait. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. Well, okay. No, I mean, Edelgard's pretty high up there. But evidently, that is not your perspective. I mean... Hmm. I, I mean... I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. I think you and Edelgard should fight to the death. Um... Yeah, I can't stop you. Go for it, man. Precisely. You, yeah, you do what you gotta stop do. Me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. Maybe next time I'll estimate you. you yeah, for sure. You I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. Wait, do you want to fight me? Oh, gosh. Did you see that massive glob of sweat coming down? Oh, crap. Okay, we will well. Begin with battle. <laughs> We're going out in the woods. <laughs> We're going to go out and no kill each other. That's me. awesome. I'm going to freaking slit this guy's throat. He's going to have no idea. I'm like, ha ha, gotcha. Um, Edelgard's com- or wait, we will- we shall begin with the battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. A demonic beast? Holy crap, there, there's demons around here? Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Wow! That's- you do it better, so two times better, two times faster. Wow. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Go to cut down all these trees and build me a fort. That's, oh wait, whoa, what is that? Here we go. What is that? Guys, do you hear that freaking noise? Two at once. That's, well, what is it this? Will be little, fine. What's this little JPEG flying across the screen for? What? That's kind of a weird little cutscene. Like the, the game, 
the game director came in, he's like, then I want them to fight these two demonic beasts. And the the graphic designer or the, the video programmer was like, yeah, about that, we actually don't have the budget to go ahead and animate two demonic beasts coming in, but I have this sick JPEG that can just fly across the screen. What, uh, uh, do you like that? And the game director is like, you know what, freaking fine. Then just fade to black, okay? Fade to black. We'll do it live. Man, the slashes. It seems you have saved my life. I thank you, Professor. I wouldn't have had to save Edelgard. You're a little weak there, you butthole. All right, but at least our motivations increased. Once again, another situation where I don't know how our motivation was necessarily increased. Like Hubert and I, like what the crap? Um, 55% of people did a seminar, 23% went to battle, 2% arrested. What's a seminar? Let's do a seminar with, um, okay, so wait a second. Uh, begin a seminar in group tactics in Geralt's mercenary fighting style. Gets my authority and sword up with Hubert, Edelgard, and Petra. Sounds great. Cast is ready to begin the seminar. Let's do it. 55% of people did a seminar. How could I argue with that? And I think we actually already, ta already talked to everyone, didn't we? In our kind of free roam exploration. I won't forget all I've learned. So Perhaps there's really I've no reason to go around and do any more free roaming. Like we already we already rocked all that. You know what I'm saying? Motivation of attendees increased by 50%. Awesome, great, fantastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an auto instruct here too. Yeah, instruct automatic, auto magically. And it looks like everyone got a nice little fair bit of learning there. Sounds great. Teacher. Oh, yeah, see, I actually, that was actually perfect. That was a good little cadence of everything. I didn't really want to sit down and instruct everyone again. We got to get back to the, we got to get back to some freaking heavy duty narrative. You know, that's the thing with this game. It's a, it's a little too heavy towards the exploration, the lectures, the activities, and then, oh, big battle, big story, cutscenes, hype, excitement. But I mean, if you were to kind of trim this, trim the fat a little bit, do some of the more automatic stuff, I bet you could get this game really condensed down. So anyway, I don't know. I just, just give my thoughts out there. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you lean towards though? Exploration, seminars, auto stuff, I don't know. Ferdinand says, a noble must know how to ride a horse to be certain and should know how to wield a lance. And that is the most obvious weapon of choice for a rider. As a noble among the nobles, it, it seems natural that I focus on these two skills. So they currently focus on lance and ax, but they want to focus on lance and riding. You know what, Nando? You rock and roll. I'm loving you guys coming forward with these ideas. I think you guys are doing great. Dorothea though has a, oh wait. Oh. I'm curious to know how Petra's doing. Let's go. You ready YouTube? Leave it, leave, or, or you know, I mean we're 32 minutes in. Ooh, we're 32 minutes in. I know it's been a little bit of a shorter episode, but do I end there? Do I leave a little bit of suspense? Do I tease out a little bit of what could be coming up next? Mm, or alternatively, do we end out the let's play with our visit to Petra? I don't know. I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm really torn on it. Now on one hand, yeah, you got the excitement. You gotta tune into the next episode to figure out what happens with me and Petra. On the other hand, you're so excited that we had some support conversations with Petra that you're like, ooh, I wanna keep seeing Kaz's journey on the next episode on Thursday. What do we do? You know what? You know what? I'm a kind and gracious YouTuber. I'm not gonna cl I'm not gonna cliffhang you. I'm not gonna string you along and manipulate you to make you watch more. We're gonna go pay Petra a visit because that's what you deserve. You've been watching this whole Let's Play. We gotta figure out what's happening with Petra. Let's go ahead and see what's happening. Oh, we're getting spicy. Petra, you okay? What is going on? Professor? Why are you so out of breath? Have you been taking a massive dump? Because I have to let you know. Okay, you know what? Petra, you don't want to hear about this. Um, It's very late, Petra. Uh, Maybe you should... Uh, What are you... Petra, what are you doing? What are you... Talk to me. Please take my apologies. I lost time while I was training. Oh, you've been training? You, well, you rocked the tournament the other day. I don't think you even need to train. You there are not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I think you've actually been doing really good. You've been, you did great in the tournament. We've been doing lots of instructions. You've been flying around the Pegasi. You've I been will doing keep great. I training now. I hope your night is good. I, you, uh, yeah, you're. Oh gosh, I don't want to say you're overdoing it. That sounds a little bit. That sounds a little bit not nice. Like you're, you're overdoing it. You're, you're working too hard. But saying you should get some rest is the, is the nice way of saying you are overdoing it. 
but I also care about you and would rather you just get some rest. I need to have more training. No, you don't! There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done. Like what? Like, me? For the future. I have to try with hardness. Okay, you're getting, you're getting very flirty with me, training, Petra. studying, okay. socializing. Maybe she wasn't meaning anything. I will not always be having time to do those things. True. Yeah, there's gonna come a day where you just, you're, you just feel short on time. I'm in a season of life right now where I'm just, my job's actually pretty crazy. Lots of time being spent on that. We got the Twitch stream. We got these YouTube Let's Plays. Training, studying, socializing. Yeah, sometimes there's just not time for it. I have to cut things out. I usually cut my training and my studying, and I just focus on socializing, hanging out over on the Discord. By the way, click down in the comment section below or the description down below. Join our Discord. Hang out. Talk about Fortnite. Minecraft. Fortnite. Bad. Minecraft. Good. Fire Emblem. Pokemon Go. All that. All right. P Petra, sorry. My brain went a little bit off the deep end and there. speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Yeah, you do kind of suck at speaking our language. But why do you try so- why are you trying so hard, Petra? What- what- what is up with this unbearable stress on your shoulders, this burden that you have? Talk to me! Why? Because... the position of Bridget is weak. Uh-oh. Your home- your homeland's about to crack. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Don't worry, Petra. You got me on your side, and we're gonna freaking rise up. Bridget! Represent! Bridget has great beauty, but little power. But don't worry. We both got great beauty, and we got great power. We will not have... Uh, will not survive unless we get more strength. And I got you covered, Petra, but sometimes to get strength, you have to rest. I will lead, Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. And you got it! You just killed five people in a school tournament. It doesn't have to be that way. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps you're right. Yes. That is why I have to give it my best try. You're rocking and rolling, Petra. Who am I to stop you? I am an ally of everyone. And I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. For sure. That is also why I try with hardness. You, you try hard. You can always be counting me. I mean, counting on me. Hey, way to correct yourself there, you little dummy. But All you right. should know that one of these days will be when I return to Bridget. Oh, dude, that's going to be a heartbreaking day when she bows out of here. Is she seriously going to leave? Like, what if she just bows out? I don't know. This is a romance here that's going to have to stand the test of time. Before that day... Do not try stopping me from trying. And please, hmm. keep watch, watching over me. Dude, so, yeah, Petch, that's, okay, so here's the tricky thing. I, you know, obviously Petch and I are developing a romance. We've been training together. We've been fighting each, with each other on the battlefield, not fighting each other. We've been having dinner together, cooking with each other, having these little, these little moments to develop our conversations, develop our support for one another, but... It's clear that her and I are on a little bit of separate paths, and it's gonna be interesting to see how we how we bridge them because I'm clearly destined for greatness as the protagonist of the hit video game Fire Emblem, and she's obviously supposed to lead Bridget. And, and, and there's just there's only so many ways that her and I can coexist. So she's either gonna have to leave Bridget, or I'm gonna have to go to Bridget, or we're gonna have to find some way to make it all work. It's definitely gonna be an interesting um, relationship and see how it all goes down. You I can try with more hardness than I could alone. Yeah, she's definitely got some warm fuzzies for me, though. Yeah, for sure. For sure. We're, yeah, we're, we're level B right now. Petra and I, we got, we got some good love going. We got some good loving. I, I can predict a little bit of heartbreak coming, though, when she has to move. When she has to leave us, I think that's definitely going to be a little bit of a struggle. But it's Friday, Petra, what's up? Our teamwork has yielded a report for the professor. Oh, the yeah. Empire and Bridget. We're yeah, nice. Empire and Bridget working together. You guys are flying your Pegasi. You're doing great. Real proud of you. And you guys all got your skills up after a full week. You got Perhaps new abilities. Well awesome. Everyone's leveling up. Everyone's having a great time. And it looks like it's the weekend again. Super hype, super legit. Um, we can go ahead and uh, actually, I think, because I think I've already, the thing is, I think I've already explored. We can maybe go do some battles. Maybe we go do a couple battles. We got some more auxiliary battles that we could possibly go do. We got a lot of people at level seven. Uh, this would require an activity point. So maybe we could do a couple battles up in the mountains. Um, kind of curious where to where to go from here. I'm on. I mean, I feel like 
check the schedule here. So we got um, we got actions that we could do today: clean up battles, certifications, share a meal, faculty training, gardening. Maybe I should go do. Maybe I don't think I've really done much gardening or anything like that. Maybe we could go actually go poke around with that. And then we got um, Claude's birthday coming up, and then we have um, the rite of rebirth, where the assassination attempt is planned to happen. Although if Raphael's correct, they're actually organizing an attack to steal our wine. So let's actually go ahead here. I'm curious, gosh, I'm curious what level this fight is going to be. Because clearly it's going to be a big fight. Like, it's there, there, there's no way this this big event's going to happen and it's not going to be a battle. So, uh, I'm curious, what's everyone's level at? Like, we got, uh, Ly Linhart, what, Lionel Richie over here is level 6. Like, he's pretty low. I feel like we could get them trained a little bit more. And see if we could get everyone up to... Like, if we could get everyone to level 10 before the next big battle, that would be pretty legit, right? Right? But I'm just curious. I would rather not over-battle myself and, and have everything be... Everything be overpowered. So, I'm not... I'm not too sure if I should be battling or what. Leave a maybe comment down below. What do you often go for? Do you go for battling more often? Training up that way and grinding out your experience? Do you usually listen to seminars to get your skills up? Or do you explore and kind of figure out what activities are worthwhile doing around the academy? Or do you just rest and that get everyone's, that's, gets everyone motivation up? I don't think resting right now would be the best idea because the motivation would then, like we wouldn't be able to use that for a lecture coming up. So I think resting doesn't seem like the best idea and 2% of people actually resting. It may, I'm really, I want to lean towards this global activity of 70%. That seems like a lot. Like, do you guys, that's another comment down below. Do you guys follow the global activity or do you kind of march to the beat of your own drum? Lots of stuff to discuss down below. Really interested to hear your guys' thoughts. I just realized that I was covering up those options. We can go ahead and move me right here to the middle. Go ahead and make me big. How about that? Do you like it? I think it's pretty dope. I think it's pretty cool. I can just cover up the whole calendar. Um, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys down there. Uh, let me know if you th what you think of me and Petra's relationship, our ongoing love story. Do you think it's going to be a conflict coming up? The fact that they kind of feel drawn back to their homeland, and I kind of feel drawn to lead this academy and these students and stay here at the in the, in the middle of the whole nation and of all the three houses. Let me know what you think um, in the comment se section down below. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and also be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you got to episode 13 of the Let's Play series. Holy shnikes, go ahead and click that button. And I'll talk to you guys down there. But until next time, bye!